Our next step here, we're going to put this, get this line set against the wall. And you'll see this is about a 90, a sloping 90 degree angle. So we need about probably four foot here of straight line set. So we're going to straighten this out ever so gently again. Straighten this out. So this part is going to go against the wall. And now we have to bend this down. Remember this condensate line here, you don't want it twisted. You want it to be below your refrigerant lines, below the line set. So do that. And that way it's going to make sure, I mean, I guess you want to make sure there's not a lot of weight on there too, but you want to make sure that that's at a low point because if it's not, um, the water won't flow out of your unit. And condensation happens as part of the refrigeration process. Same way when you have a icy cold drink on a humid day, uh, you, it sweats on the outside. That same thing happens with the coil on the inside of your inside unit. So that needs to be drained to the outside of your house. Okay, so put your hand near the wall ever so gingerly. Bend the line set. Massage the line set. So yeah, this is ugly right now. You can put a put a line set cover in this. Line set cover should come out to this point. And you can do whatever you want. Massage this any way you need to, but this is fine. It's if it has a couple circles in there, the uh, pump that's in the compressor, the compressor acts as a pump that will move the refrigerant through there. You don't need to worry about there, but uh, this, you probably want to get some, um, some one hole clamps to clamp this such that the condensate flows to a, a predictable place and not into something where it's going to be harming anything because water will be coming out of this tube. But you can do whatever, pretty this up however you want, but this step is done.